Hey guys, and welcome back to Flatpak FX. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to not only make one, but three different mask effects. Let's go. Now I've also launched my brand new members only community called the Flatpak Crew. Now this not only allows you to download the project files and media for each of my After Effects tutorials, it also gives you exclusive early access to the videos whenever they're done. Plus there's also a few extra benefits that you're gonna get from joining that community. So if you wanna download the project files for this tutorial, then you can follow the links in the description below for more details. So this is the first effect that I'm gonna be showing you how to make. So I've got a video clip here of this time-lapse and I wanna still frame the clip, but I want to add a reflection over the top. So what we can do is with this clip, I'm firstly just going to freeze frame this clip by just coming down to time and then time freeze. And then I can add over the top of that my time lapse that I want to have as the reflection. So this is the time lapse that I'm going to be using here. And I can basically just scale this down to kind of sit over the top of this lake. And then I'm just going to turn that clip off so we can see what we're doing. And I'm going to grab my pen tool here. And I basically want to create a mask which sort of follows the edge of this lake. Now it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. You're just trying to get a rough mask at this point, something like that. Then I can turn that back on. I'm gonna hit M to bring up those mask settings. And then I can add a little bit of a feather here. And if you need to expand that mask, you can just drag up or down on this. Now with that layer, what I'm going to do is toggle the switches here and I'm gonna change the blending mode to be hard light. And that's gonna create this reflection which sort of sits over the top. Now again, you can go through, adjust that feather. You can also adjust that expansion mask. To get different effects, what I recommend doing is just going through and changing this blending mode because depending on the clip that you're using will depend on the blending mode that best works for you. So for this particular clip, hard light works the best, but it's just a matter of kind of going through and finding what works. Another trick is to also expand this so it slightly goes over the edges. And then what you can do is actually take the background layer, bring that up over the top, and then create more of a fine tune mask, which sort of sits over the top. Now I can also bring up the mask settings for that one and just feather that very slightly. You'll need to subtract that mask because we want to cut that section out. And you can see that just kind of cleans up those edges very slightly. And so we kind of get that finished effect. The other thing that I also did was just add a null and then I parented all of these layers to that null and then just added a very slight scale just to kind of add a little bit more movement back into that original shot. Now for this next effect, we're gonna create this reflection of this time-lapse over this drone shot. So I've got my drone shot here on the timeline and then I've also got this shot, which I'm gonna drag here on top of the time-lapse that I want to use as the reflection. Now for this particular time-lapse, I'm just going to reverse this. And then I'm gonna change the blending mode to be hard light on this particular clip. Again, you can mess around with that different blending mode to get different looks. It'll depend on the clip that you've ultimately got. You can also scale down the opacity just to help with blending these shots together. Now to hide the edge of this mask, all we have to do is duplicate that bottom one, bring that to the top, and then we can create a mask following the edge of that line. Now if your clip is moving, you're also going to have to animate this mask. So you can hit M on the keyboard, bring up those mask path settings, and you can just create a simple mask path keyframe here and then you can just move that and adjust that mask however you need to kind of fit over the top. Now what you're going to do is you're going to invert this mask so that just cuts out the sky and you can also just add a very slight feather and then a very slight expansion down over the top of that horizon and that's gonna hide 
that reflection. The other thing that I also did was it kind of took away from the reflection from the original shot. So what I also did was I duplicated that background layer again, brought that up above that layer, and then I went in here to the Luma key and I keyed out the brighter part of the image here. Also add a little bit of a feather that just brought back my subject from my original drone shot. Now, if you like this tutorial and you want to learn more about how to use After Effects to create different types of video effects, then you can check out my Motion Effects Pro course or my Travel Effects Pro course if you're more of an advanced user. Now, in both of these courses, I focus on how to create different video effects and transitions using After Effects. And if you're a complete beginner, then I recommend starting with my Motion Effects Pro course. That's gonna walk you through the absolute basics of After Effects before we get into some basic video effects and transitions. For those more advanced users, then definitely check out my Travel Effects Pro course. There'll be links down in the description below if you wanna learn more about them. Now for this final effect, I wanna show you how to create this mask sort of transition going through the wheel of this motorbike into this FPV shot. Now I've got this shot here of this motorbike wheel spinning. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna line it up roughly to where I want to have my transition. And I'm just going to split that layer. Then I'm gonna drag in my drone clip here underneath position it roughly where I'm gonna have these two clips transition together. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to basically create a null object, and I'm gonna parent that motorbike layer to that null object, and this is going to be our controller for creating the zoom and the rotation. Then coming down to the transform properties, I'm gonna create a position, a scale, and a rotation keyframe. I'm gonna start back here, create position, rotation, and scale keyframes. And here towards the end, I'm just gonna to start to zoom the camera in. And I'm just gonna create a little bit of a rotation here, something like that. So we kind of get this zooming effect. Now I wanted to zoom more into the middle of that clip so what I can actually do is come back here, just move this, move this back here, then reconnect that clip. So that it kind of zooms more into the center of that frame. Then I can just readjust it here. And what I'm also going to do is take that clip, add a motion tile. And you want to expand out on the edges and then mirror those to hide that extra part of the effect. I've also turned on motion blur for that layer and that adds a level of motion blur to that clip. I can take all of those, then right click and make them easy ease. Now what you can do is if you go into the graph editor here, you can actually just scale these up by dragging them out like this. And that's gonna create a bit more of a smooth transition into this effect. Now, if you need to, you can also adjust this here to kind of line up with that clip. And while this is going on, what I'm also gonna do is select that motorbike layer and using my pen tool, what I'm actually going to do is create a mask which sits over the top and then subtract this and give it a really large feather. So as I feather this, I can create a mask path Sort of position this over the top. And then create a mask expansion here. And scale this up towards the end. And then at the beginning, I'm going to scale this right down. Now you can also take all of these and then make them easy ease. 
Now, if we play through that, this is what we should have now. It's sort of zooming into that transition. Now, at the end of this, what I'm going to do is take that clip underneath and I'm going to parent it to that null. And then I'm going to move this clip back so that when that mask starts to form, it's going to bring in that clip underneath. I can turn that layer back on. Now, you may also have to create a turn on motion blur for that layer. And you may also have to add a motion tile and scale this right up, mirror those edges. And if we play through, this is what we should have, something like this. Now in my original here, something else that I also did was I went through and refined that second clip. So I just created a position keyframe for that and animated it. And that just helped kind of keep that clip more in the center of my frame. Now there'll be a link down in the description if you want to download this project file. And I'll also have links to the clips that I used as well. You can watch this video next here on screen if you want to learn more about After Effects and how to create different effects and animations. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.